Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and today I wanted to do a little something where I could kind of organize my life. I feel like for a while I've been like, I don't really know what I want to do with my life. So it's like good, at least for me, to map it out and visualize it and like put it into sections. I've made a couple vision boards in the past, but I decided I'm gonna make a vision board for 2017 and what I want out of my life, what I want to do, and my dreams and my hopes. If you watch my previous vision board videos, it's usually just me cutting up magazines, but I wanted this one to be a little bit more special. So I have like pictures from my own like camera roll. I used my HP Sprocket. This video is sponsored by them. So thank you so much to them for making this possible. I love it because it's tiny and small. You can take it anywhere. On the app, you can use stickers and make them all like ritzy. You can just print out pictures on your iPhone or your Android. There's no ink. It's super easy. I loved it. And it actually made the vision board, I think, a little bit better than all the vision boards I've ever made in the past. So right in the middle, I have a little section and it's kind of like the title of my vision board. It says, Tyler 2017, he came, he saw, and he conquered. I hope maybe my goal for the year is to do what I can, not to look at what everyone else is doing, but just do me and do me in the best way possible. In this little corner, I have like a little moment for like romance and love because obviously like it wouldn't hurt to meet the man of my dreams. If it happens, it happens, but I'm putting it in my vision board, okay? I have gentlemen only because I'm not here for a, a petty little boy. I want like a man who knows what he wants. There's like two little porcupine grooms, gay porcupine grooms. And it says perfect match because I will settle for nothing less. Over here, I have like a little work corner because it's an important part of my life. And it says born again and again. This is my 10th year of YouTube. I am old. I have been doing this forever and I feel like it's important for me to allow myself to grow and to change. Just because I've been doing a certain path for a long time doesn't mean I can't be born again and feel like a brand new YouTuber every single time I make a video. And then at the bottom it says, feed your fandom. And I was thinking about this when I saw it. I was like, you know what? I want to find that balance of what I love what you love and find that happy spot right in the middle. And then surrounding that, I put a couple pictures. Right here, I did podcast stuff with Corey because that's something that's such a big part of my life right now. I wanna focus on making things that are off platform. And so I put up a picture of me with my Warby Parker glasses because I wanna do more glasses with them, but I also want to expand what I think I can do. I never thought I could make a glasses line, but here I was able to. And then down here, I have pictures of times that I get to spend with y'all. This is super intimate. It's camp. If you haven't signed up for camp, you still can. It's an opportunity for me to spend like really one-on-one -on -one time with y'all, but then also the bigger things like VidCon and tours and appearances. And I really want to spend time focusing on doing those so that I can spend moments with you guys. Over here, I have a whole category Category that is about health and wellness and taking care of myself. Down here I have, I guess like a body. Imagine having a body that you are like, dang, I look dang good. But then over it, I put the caption, I love to look good for me. And to me, that says it all. But I would love to get into a mindset, and maybe this year is the year, where I'm like taking care of myself and enjoying the transformation that I am embarking on because I am liking how I'm looking. You know what I mean? And then down here, I put a picture from when I did my marathon relay with my friends up in Canada. And I really like this picture because it like actually looks like I'm having fun. It doesn't have to be this thing that you dread going to the gym. I am like happy as can be. And I feel like that is how I want my approach to health to be. And then this section, I have a whole bunch of my queens who inspire me for a million reasons. I have people like RuPaul, Gigi Gorgeous, Hillary Clinton, Beyonce, Oprah, Gaga, like these people who are doing incredible things, doing good work, and making the world a better place. And I really wanna do that just like them. So this little section of my vision board might be my favorite part, and it's all about activism. I included things like listen, because to me it's really important, especially now more than ever, to hear the other disenfranchised communities and try to understand them and try to think about how I can step up and help and support them. Up here is a little picture from when I went to the Women's March. I have my like Planned Parenthood sign. I wanna remind myself to get involved 
stay involved locally, nationally, however I can get involved, I want to show up. It's important for me to show up. So that is my vision board. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments below what is on your vision board. If you were to make one right now, what's something that you want to happen in 2017? Thank you so much to HP for sponsoring this video with the sprocket. If you want to get one, all the information is in the description. It's a perfect little gift. I love mine and it made my vision board pretty cute. If you want to see my latest video, click right there. If you want to hear my latest podcast, click right there. Again, you can watch it early if you get the full screen app. And if you want to be my person of the week, click right there. But that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you have a fabulous life and I hope you like my vision board. 